All right, hello everyone, this is Raymond. So today we're gonna to be looking at another linear algebra problem. Uh, as you guys can see, we're given a set W which can, contains the vector X, Y, Z. So it's a vector in R3, which means it has three components. And then uh, the entries of the vector has to satisfy this equation, 2X plus Y plus 5Z equals zero. And then we need to check whether this set W belongs to, I mean, in, whether the set W is a subspace of R3. Okay, so before we start, let's write out, um, I mean, write down the definition of a subspace. So a set is a Sub subspace of a vector space if it is closed under addition and scalar multiplication. Okay, so with that definition given, we're gonna uh, just take two vectors from the set. So since this set is any vector x, y, z that satisfies this equation, we're just gonna say that um, we're gonna consider two vectors from the set. And then yeah so these two vectors are from the set W we're going to consider two vectors from there which satisfies this equation the entries of the vectors are going to satisfy that equation okay so this vector U will give it entries uh, A B C and then vector V will give it entries D, E, and F. Okay, so since we uh, got these two vectors from the set, the entries of them have to satisfy this equation. So that means 2A plus B plus 5C equals 0. And 2d plus e plus 5 times f equals 0 as well. Okay, so now we need to check if it's closed under addition. Closed under addition means that uh, we add them up and they're still going to be in the set, which means after I add them up, they're still going to uh, satisfy this equation. So let's just do that. Okay, so when we add these two vectors up, u plus v, that's gonna equal, first entry is a plus d, second entry, b plus e, the third one is gonna be c plus f. And then, so we, we need to check if the new vector we get, let's call it a uh, vector k. So k has the following entries. And we obtain vector k from adding the two vectors together. Um, and then we, we just need to check whether the entries of vector k satisfy this equation. So correspondingly, this uh, corresponds to x from the set, this corresponds to y, and this corresponds to z. But you need to put parentheses around them. I'll just put parentheses to demonstrate. So, 
That means we need to check We need to check if this equation equals zero. So let's just expand it. So this equation is going to equal 2a plus 2d plus b plus e plus 5c plus 5f. And then we know that uh, since we took out vector u and vector v from the set, these two equations do equal zero. And then if we change the orders of the terms a little, we're going to get 2a plus b plus 5c plus 2d plus e plus 5 times f. Okay, so now to make this a little more clear, since uh, some of you may not know why I did that. Okay, we're gonna put parentheses around these. And then, now we're gonna refer back to here. And as you guys can see, this part would equal zero. And the second part would also equal zero. So the whole equation would just be zero plus zero equals zero. So this is satisfied. That means uh, this uh, product, I, I mean the sum of the two vectors is still uh, within the set. That means it's closed under addition. And then now we just check uh, closure under scalar multi multiplication, which we're going to check right here. So now we're just going to check, uh, so scalar multiplication is when we're just uh, multiplying a constant to the vector. And then we're going to, essentially we're going to check, uh, let's name the first constant C sub 1, I'm going to write, write the 1 a little smaller, C sub 1. And then we're going to multiply v by c sub 2. And c sub 1 and c sub 2 can be any constant other than 0. It can be 0 too, but uh, that's not our point here. Our point is to have them be non-zero. Okay, so by the definition of scale, scalar multiplication, we get this is C1 times A, C1 times B, C1 times C. And then that equals C2 times uh, D, C2 times E, C2 times F. All right, now we need to check um, if these two are still closed. So uh, these are our new entries of the vectors after performing scalar multiplication. And to make it easier, I'm just going to call this one uh, vector O now. This is vector O and this is vector P. I'm just going to do it just to make it easier. Okay, so for vector O, we check if two times C1 A plus C1 times B plus 5 times C1 C equals 0. We're checking this. And then so we can factor out a C1 since C1 is just a constant. 2A plus B plus 5C. Okay, and then we know that this part is zero. So a constant times zero is zero. Now let's check the second one for vector P, which is uh, the constant C2 times 
the vector v. So x2 times c sub 2 d plus c sub 2 times e plus 5 times c sub 2 times f. And then we need to check whether this equals 0. Okay, so we pull out a C2, which is a constant. Okay, and then from above, we know that this part is zero. That means it's still a constant multiplied by zero, it just equals zero. So this part checks out as well. Okay, now, the last thing, which I uh, forgot to write down in the definition here, a, it's, it's also a very important thing, uh, a subspace must can contain the zero vector. So now let's just check if it contains the zero vector. I'm going to uh, do the work here. In this space. Uh, okay. So let's just check. Uh, so we're going to consider so since the vector has three entries, the zero vector in this case would be just zero, zero, zero. Okay, so we're going to check whether this works out. So this is x, y, and z respectively. So let's check if this equals zero, this equation still equals zero, while x, y, and z are all equal to zero. So two times zero plus zero plus five times zero. Okay, so that, that's just equal to zero plus zero plus zero, and then that equals zero. So this checks out as well, which means the zero vector is in the set. Okay, so we just checked all three of the conditions of a subspace. So this set is closed under scale mul multiplication right here. It's closed under addition as we first showed. And then the zero vector is also involved in the set. So that means I'm gonna write out my conclusion here conclusion the set W is a subspace of R3 and there you have it uh, again if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and then Hopefully, I was able to explain it well enough for you guys to understand. And then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.